There's been a lot of talk lately about moldy cannabis and whether or not moldy cannabis can be remediated. Uh, we've seen the recalls, the product recalls from numerous suppliers uh, on this issue. So we want to see uh, whether or not our small scale carbon dioxide extractors, in this case the two ounce extractor back here, whether or not we can filter out mold, spores, yeast, and other colony forming units to see whether we can mechanically remediate cannabis. So we're going to run through this. We're going to generate some oils from this system. We're going to send those oils off to a couple of independent labs and they will analyze them and report back to us. A few months ago, we did a test on some very moldy material to see if we could filter out mold. The raw material was a few months old at that time and as you can see, it was very moldy. You can also see that simply by using a mechanical filter, we were able to remove enough mold to fall below Health Canada limits. But we weren't satisfied, so we did a second test using moldy material from the same batch. We then submitted samples to two independent labs. You can see that by using only a mechanical filter, we were able to filter mold to below Health Canada requirements. We will be using a 2 ounce med extractor CO2 extractor for this test. We have some roughage that we'll put in the bottom of the extractor to minimize caking. And we have our known moldy raw material here. First, take the roughage and tamp it evenly into the bottom. Now load the raw material. Note the consistency of this material. Tamp and poke through to minimize any voids that could allow the CO2 to channel. The CO2 will run through the extractor to pick up whatever can be dissolved and then on through this special filter. The filter contains fine mechanical filters as well as a mixture of adsorbents. The cannabinoid saturated CO2 will run through this filter, up through the valve and down into the collector for extract collection. We'll be running this extraction around 1200 PSI. After one tank, we can see that we have some extract in the collector. It's a bad light situation here, but you can see what I'm talking about. We're going to pour in a bit of ethanol to liquefy the extract. I'm going to shake it up a bit. And there you can see what it looks like. Uh, this is giving an example of the color. Now we're going to put it into uh, some small vials and put these vials into a small centrifuge to spin out some of the wax. We're going to run it for six minutes at 8,000 RPM. Once the spinning has finished, we pour the mixture into a tray to evaporate off the ethanol. And this is what it looks like when it's done. Note the clarity and viscosity of this oil without winterization. Here are the vials that we're sending off to the labs. And here are the results. Clearly, no aflatoxins. The more interesting observation here is that the moldy cannabis itself, the raw material, had no aflatoxins. So apparently, just because you've got moldy cannabis does not mean that you can't extract high quality oil from it. We have proven by third party lab reports that we can remove the mold, spores, yeast, and the colony forming units to below Health Canada limits. We also have seen that just because you have moldy cannabis does not mean that you've got aflatoxin in it. We have, again, third party lab reports to show that. So in our opinion, uh, which is based on lab reports and actual tests, uh, remediation of moldy cannabis is absolutely doable and you can generate high quality oil from it.